Hi everyone, it's more quarantine cooking with Carolyn. Today I'm going to show you how to make a roast chicken dinner on a sheet pan. And the, this is a great recipe because everything from the potatoes to the vegetables to the chicken are all done on one sheet pan. So it makes your cleanup really easy. So, um, and, oh, and another great thing about this recipe is if you know you have a busy day coming up, you can prep this recipe the night before, the morning before, whatever works for you, cover it with some aluminum foil, plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator. When you come home in the evening, you can pull it out of the fridge, let it come to room temperature while the oven is heating, and then pop it in when the oven's ready and let it go and it's all prepped and you don't have to do anything. So that's another great thing about this recipe. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees and you want to line a sheet pan with some heavy duty um, aluminum foil. And that too is going to cut down on your cleanup as well. So um, you want to get started first of all with your choice of chicken parts. And, um, and it can be any parts you want. If it were up to me, I would have done all breasts, but I couldn't find them in the store. Um, I went to two different stores and couldn't find them. So what I ended up with were these little half chickens. And this one is, is still intact, but this one I cut up. But I just wanted to kind of show you what, what I'm using here. Um, all they had in the store when I went uh, were, were the legs and the um, wings, I think. So this is what I had, so this is what I'm going to use. And it's fine. Um, you need four potatoes peeled and cut up into chunks. Now, this is another great thing about this recipe is you can add more or less vegetables as you like, like them. Um, I'm going to add a few less vegetables because it's only two of us here. Um, so one to two onions that are cut into um, chunks there, into wedges. You want one green pepper and one red pepper in, cut into slices. Looks a little bit like Christmas there. Ooh, yay. And about four carrots sliced or if you're like me, I don't slice carrots anymore. I just use the baby carrots. And I'm going to throw in, oh, I don't know, about that many. That's fine. And you want two ribs of celery. And you want to cut those into one-inch chunks, give or take. And cut it on the diagonal just because it looks prettier. That way. Oh, got some onion here still. And then we're going to add one to two tablespoons of olive oil to this. And I'm going to start with one tablespoon because I find a lot of recipes call for more oil slash fat than they really need. So I may, I may put more in, but we'll see. I'm going to um, toss it first and see if I think it needs more. And I, I actually don't think it does. It, and you can kind of tell by how shiny the vegetables are getting, by whether or not it needs more. And I actually think that that is going to be just fine. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to take this off here. And we're going to put this on the sheet pan, just like so. And then let me pull this guy over here. Okay, then we are going to add to this the chicken parts. And I will put the rest of the chicken on later. And then you want to add some salt. And I like to do this um, whenever I'm sprinkling on salt, pepper, herbs of any kind, I like to do it kind of from a high um, vantage point because I think you get better um, coverage. If you do it too low, and maybe this is just my experience, but if you do it too low, it seems like you get this big clump of salt or whatever in one area. 
And then you want to add some garlic powder. And that's because it's me. And I'm putting about a half a teaspoon or so on here, give or take. I don't know how to cook without garlic. And just a pinch of paprika. And this is probably about a half tablespoon too, which is a little more than a pinch, but you know, hey. Paprika is also rather clumpy. There we go. All right. And so this is going to go in the oven at 425 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Then at about the 20 minute mark, you want to pull it out of the oven and baste it with the pan juices. And the way I would do that is I would take it out of the oven and you can use a baster if you have it, but I usually just tip it forward so the pan juices run and then I just dip a brush, a food safe brush, in the pan juices and just brush everything with the pan juices and that'll get your chicken brown and it'll keep your um, vegetables nice and keep them from burning. So let's take a look at the final dish here. Here it comes. And look at that. I think that looks delicious. There goes the timer even. So there you go. And the, the chicken looks really crispy and beautiful and the vegetables look nice. So you know what, guys? Give this a try. Um, you can take this right to the table like this. So like I said, give this a try because I know you've got this.